Welcome. Today we are going to uh, continue our Finite webinar series of this one is getting the most out of FDM and integrating with SBase and planning. Yeah, some details around that. And a lot of a lot of people use FDM to integrate with their consolidation system. We're going to talk a little bit about integrating with SBase and planning and how you might use it. Uh, my name is Scott Peters, Finite Solutions. We specialize in Oracle Hyperion products, consulting services around that. Mainly specialize in kind of four groups, financial close and consolidation. Uh, we also specialize in integration, FDM obviously, which we're going to talk about today and a few of the other products. We've been doing that for quite a long time, going back to the upstream days. We also specialize in planning and BI, and then the reporting tools around that of your company. So with any questions with that, we have it on our website there, or there's our contact. Uh, Greg would, would love to talk to you more about this if you haven't yet found out information or, or want to just understand it a little bit better. So again, today we are going to talk about using FDM to integrate with SBase and planning. We'll talk a little bit about how it's different than integrating with HFM or Enterprise. Um, we'll first give a little just FDM overview. I'm, I'm assuming many people know what FDM is, that's why they're on here, but we'll just do a real quick overview. Uh, talk about some design considerations with your SBase and planning when using it with SBase and planning or multi-products, um, as well as we're going to get into some of the details of FDM with SBase and planning and some of the, I guess, options or just differences between using FDM with with your consolidation system and then using it to load actual data, move data to SBase and planning. We'll talk about FDM and SBase Calc scripts and how they work, as well as some best practices around those. Um, as you know, with FDM and really with any project, there's many different ways to skin a cat, but kind of how the best, or at least in our, our world, we've done many of these projects, kind of what we see, you can do it this way, but you might run into this, and this is how, you know, if you do it this way, it might be might save you some time down the road and so on. And then I wanted to go into, it won't be actually demos, but we'll kind of look at a few cases where we've used FDM to load planning or SBase and talk about how that worked. Um, both of these instances were on a multi-product project, so we'll talk about how, how we used FDM to load planning when the company already had HFM or, or to load SBase concurrently with HFM and so on. So I'm going to kind of fly through these, these FDM overview, but obviously it's a, it's a ETL tool, web-based kind of with finance in mind to drive it and not an IT tool. Um, so it was created with, with the understanding that the, the end user or the finance user is the one who understands their data and should be responsible for their data the most. So whether, even if it's all just sourced from one, one system, they know the best about mapping, um, let them control it. So it's a, again, with that then gives them a repeatable process for doing that. So sourcing that data, mapping it, and loading it to your target system. With, along with that, so that, I mean, that's a real basic overview, but along with that are the integration adapters, which is how FDM communicates with your target systems. Um, it has the, you know, whichever product you're in has that API to communicate with each product. Um, to load data, to just create a, a file that is picked up somewhere else, to perform calculations, consolidations, run a calc script, uh, pull back values from that target system, et cetera. That's what the FDM adapters allow you to do. Um, with that said, there are adapters for, for several of the different HFM, or sorry, of the Hyperion products. So HFM has its own adapter. Enterprise has an adapter. Space and planning has has one adapter for both products because really FDM is just communicating with SBase. Even if it's a, a planning app you're loading to, it's it's integrating with the underlying SBase uh, cube for that planning app. Uh, as well as strategic finance, um, a data extract adapter that you could kind of pull data from from FDM to create a file to load to a tax system, as well as Data Mart, which uses FDM to just import data, map data, and create a file to be either you know picked up and loaded into some system that is not part of 
part of the Hyperion suite or to load to maybe a staging table in a database directly, but not really integrating with the Hyperion target just allows you to still use the FDM um, import and validate as well as all the audit, audit piece to create a file. So again, within those adapters, um, and we're going to mainly focus on, like I said, on the S-Base and planning implementation um, and the use of that adapter. Obviously, dimensions that you're integrating with in that target system, some of the standard FDM scripts, custom event import, actions. So this is where with HFM or enterprise, you're not really involved with the FDM actions. Because they're a standard system, you are, every time you create a, a file, all the dimensions are, I guess this is going to be a little different with HFM 11.122, where you can have more than your, your standard dimensions. Um, but every version prior to that, HFM would always have its account, entity, ICP, and four customs, whether you're using them or not. But every HFM would application would have that. S-Base and planning, completely different. You can have it's kind of kind of more open-ended planning has some dimensions that you have to have but s base you could have any any amount of dimensions that you really wanted to so with that there are more it's more prevalent in the FDM actions to get in there like you're creating a dat file um, loading data and we're gonna we're gonna get into the details around this but different things you might put into those actions that are a little different. They're still VB scripts, but they're a little different than your standard three groupings of VB scripts. Uh, and then with that, the each adapter has obviously options when you're integrating with that target system. So there's no such thing as a force calculate or a consolidate in S-Base or planning, but you will have that in HFM. So just different options that we can talk about a little bit as well, especially as they pertain to S-Base and planning. On uh, then the last piece, if you have multiple target applications you're um, integrating with that can be done in one HFM, sorry, one FDM application. So you can point to different different target applications by using these adapters. So as based, this is just an example here. You can see there's a location called GL test, and it can point to either the default adapter, which is here signified as none, or any of these other ones that we have in there. So if you're you have an existing FDM application pointing to HFM and then you also want to load some data to S-Base or planning, you bring in that S-Base or planning adapter to that application as long as it you know shared some responsibilities like the users wanted to load those files at the at the same time or they were responsible for loading both well then we put that in one application and would, each location then would talk to a different target application. All right, we'll talk a little bit about kind of the design. When you're, when you're thinking of using FDM to integrate with S-Base or planning, uh, why might you use it and, and when might you use it? What are some of the factors? Uh, it kind of comes down to what is your user community? Is it, are, are the same people, I guess not even the same people if you have multiple target systems, but are, is it the end users are responsible for loading this data, for, for moving their actual data, mapping it, and loading it in? Um, it's going to be different than if you're loading you know, a bunch of end users for this process, or it's one group of admins who maybe load all of the data at one time. So that's something, obviously, to think about in your, in your design. It's going to be different. Um, how is that data reported? Like I said, are end users accountable for that mapping? Um, do you need to see that visibility into that mapping? Obviously, with a, a budget or forecast, you, you wouldn't, and you wouldn't really do that necessarily in FDM, but what about that actual data to get to the system if it has a greater level of detail for planning or S-based than it does for HFM? Um, are the end users supposed to map to that, and should you see that visibility into it? Obviously, when, you're, when you have multiple systems and you're moving actual data, I, yes, yes, you probably would. So. Is it important to have an audit trail? Again, for actual data, most, most likely, yes, um, unless you don't care about that actual um, lower level of detail. And, and a big one when thinking about it, is there an existing FDM application like this? Is this Was FDM rolled out with HFM first and now planning is coming on? Um, does it already exist and how might I utilize what's already there to get that data to flow to to the planning app then. 
frequency of data loads, obviously. Um, how often is that data refreshed or loaded to HFM, to planning, and so on? Um, are there are there different cubes in SBase or planning that you're loading to, and does data move move back and forth, um, so on? And just real quick, so you just like with an FDM into HFM, you need the HFM client on that FDM server. You need the SBase runtime client on the FDM server. Um, so is that a possibility? So some of the actual once you get your application built, some of the differences in in integration with SBase and planning for FDM than with HFM. Like with HFM, you'd have your application name and that's it. Here you'd have your application name and your database or cube. So you have, again, this integrates with SBase, so it's the application and the database that you're connecting to. You would, again, a lot of an FDM into SBase or planning is the same as an HFM implementation. You have import formats, you import data, you validate, and so on.